What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. I've been waiting all day for the rumored Android Q beta to drop. We finally have it. We got it up and running on our Pixel 3 XL. And I want to show you guys how to install this yourself, as well as show you some of the new visual tweaks that Google has made available in this initial build. Having said that guys, first things first, in order to get this on your own device, it's pretty simple. Let me actually go ahead and log into this really quick and show you if you go to google.com slash android slash beta you'll see it'll actually show if you have any eligible devices you'll simply click it and you can see down here the pixel 3 xl this option will be blue and it'll say opt in you will simply click that then it'll change to this white scale where it says opt out like i have obviously it's already selected on this device so we don't have to opt in again Keep this in mind also, if you don't like the beta, you will opt out. It'll refresh you back to the stable version of Android, in this case, obviously Android P. As soon as you opt into this, what you're going to do is actually go into your settings menu. You're going to go into system, updates, advanced, system update, and you will see if you have a, uh, a new option available there to pull and install. Having said that guys, I want to go ahead and touch on some of the new features on this build. First things first, I'm not sure if you noticed when I pulled down the, uh, the shade, you have new accent colors you can actually pick from. In addition to that, let's go ahead and clear some of these notifications. You actually have a battery life indicator on the top right hand side now that actually shows you your remaining battery percentage without having to jump into all the settings. Shout out to Yazin if you're watching this next video. Thanks for your uh, comment. We'll go ahead and swipe you away though for now. In addition to that, you can actually left swipe on your notifications now and schedule them and snooze if you need to. So if you guys want to set your accent colors to a different color, it's actually in the developer options. So once you get into that, oops, excuse me guys, go ahead and open this back up, system, advanced, developer options, and then we'll scroll through, it's near the bottom, I think it was accent colors, there you go right there, theming, and you can do black. You can see how it changed the theme up a little bit. Green you saw, purple. There you go. And then obviously you have the system default, which is like a light blue. That's all that's available right now. I'm not sure if down the road, Google will be implementing any other colors. We'll go ahead and leave that for now as it is. In addition to that, Google has made it much more easy to share networks with QR codes. Whenever you go into your actual network details, you can actually share it right from that screen. Hope you guys can see that. Much easier than it was before. Simply it'll throw up a QR code on your screen and you are good to go in regards to that. All right, guys. Two more things I just wanted to show you really quick. In the settings menu, you now have an option to add emergency information, which is right here. It's pretty uh, pretty clear what that means. More interestingly, and I, you, I could be wrong about this, let me know in the comments. In system settings now, where you go to gestures, I never remember seeing these options for double tap to wake, lift to check phone. Those all seem uh, seem relatively new to me. Just one other little bit of information I wanted to share with you guys. Let me know in the comments below if that has existed and I've just been oblivious to it this whole time. There is also a new dark scale, excuse me, a new gray scale option um, that'll allow each apps on a per app basis if you want to turn it gray scale in order to save battery. One other thing I've heard I haven't actually tried, but we can go ahead and do it right now, is when you take a screenshot of your device it actually shows the notch now as well and the cutouts as you can see there. Um, not a big deal, but 
something to keep in mind. Kind of a kind of random why they'd want to include that, but I guess it kind of shows what devices that you're using. So aside from that, that's what we've come across right now. I'm sure there's a ton more options um, once we dive a little deeper into the settings and really see what's going on. Um, you can see the visual tweaks right here. Nothing excessive, nothing crazy. Storage is break, basically broken down the same way. A little different color scheme like we talked about. Um, your battery indicator is pretty much the same as it was on Pi. Nothing else really stood out while I was looking at this. If you guys have anything specifically you want to check out that you want me to show you, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, guys. Subscribe to the channel, and we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.